Hi, uh, my name is Brian Mitchell. I'm the principal of the practice Mitchell Solicitors. I'm an accredited specialist in that area of law no known as succession or wills and estates. Today, I'm going to talk about a topic called redemption. Okay, what the heck is that? Redemption is where if you give a particular asset under your will, like you say, I give my house at 147 Boaters Road to uh, Chloe, and when you die, 147 Boaters Road doesn't exist because you've sold it or whatever, then that gift fails, it redeems. In fact, the, the word means the gift is annihilated. It doesn't exist anymore. So there's a lot of danger in doing a will where you, you say, I give uh, my house to one child and I give other as assets to balance my estate to two others. I'll give you an example. I'll give you an example. Say you've got a will maker and the will maker is say, got a house worth 300,000 and other assets worth 600,000. So the will maker might say, well, I give my house to Jimmy because Jimmy's always wanted the house and I give everything else, the balance of my estate to uh, Julie and Terry. Well, that's okay. That's fair. It's roughly 300,000 each. That's fair, isn't it? Well, there's a problem. If that will maker prior to passing no longer owns that property, then that first name child doesn't get it. If the, if the asset doesn't exist when the will maker dies, the gift fails. And so in that silly example I just gave there, the other two children get half the estate each and the first name child gets nothing. It's called redemption. There are some exceptions to redemption. If a attorney or an agent uh, uh, sells an asset which is unauthorized or fraudulent, that's an exception to redemption. So you can actually chase the proceeds or the value of the asset and so forth. Uh, but redemption, other than that, redemption applies even if the house was, was sold and you can trace the proceeds. But the house is sold, the gift fails because you gave the house, not the proceeds of the house. So it's rather terrible. Let's look at this case of Ban and the Public Trustee of Queensland. It's a, it was just decided, um, it's a Court of Appeal case, just decided uh, earlier uh, this year. In that case, we've got uh, Ms. Ban. Now, some of you may have already heard about Ms. Ban. Uh, she's that lady that got the leg extensions in Russia. Okay, so you've got the picture now. That's the lady. So, Ms. Ban and Mr. ADF had been friends for a very long time. Mr. ADF was quite advanced uh, in years. and he started to lose capacity and so forth, and he did a power of attorney and appointed Ms. Ban as his attorney. Uh, under ADF's will, he gave a substantial asset to the Queensland uh, government. Now, whilst he didn't have capacity, under a power of attorney, Ms. Ban uh, sold the property, put it into a joint bank account with um, herself and Mr. ADF, and so, and then pocketed the proceeds and there was court litigation, blah, blah, blah. This case is all about seeing whether or not that gift to the Queensland government had a deem, had it been annihilated. And it was held, of course, quite properly because it was a fraudulent, uh, unauthorised act that it hadn't a deemed. And so the, the Queensland government was entitled to benefit under the will. Uh, give you another case. And it's, it's uh, this case, New South Wales case of Hay and Ainsley, a tooth, 2013 case in the New South Wales Supreme Court and it virtually parallels that little example I just gave before where the will maker gives a major asset to first child and the rest of the estate to other children and in this case that major asset and it worked out fair you know in line with what the will maker wanted but in this case that major asset didn't exist for a whole range of reasons uh, when the will maker died so the gift of that major asset to that particular child, which would have made sense, failed. That's the law. And so the rest of the estate went to the other two. And so it wasn't really fair. It wasn't what the will maker wanted. So there, there are some exceptions to redemption, as, I, as I've mentioned, fraud, fraudulent act, unauthorized act. And there's also scope under uh, Queensland law under our Powers of Attorney Act and also similar legislation in New South Wales and other parts of Australia where you can get uh, compensation as a beneficiary, even with uh, authorised acts of an attorney where the, uh, the principal, the adult, uh, the will maker has lost capacity. And that's a topic in itself, and I'll talk about that 
another time. So what's the best advice I can give? Well, the best advice I can give is when you're going to get a will done, if you're going to recommend for someone to get a will done, that they see a specialist. But what should people be doing in their wills if they really want a particular asset to go to someone? Well, there should always be a plan B in the will. So you can say, well, I want major asset to go to my son. And the question should always, the rhetorical question should always be asked, what if, what if that asset doesn't exist? And so there should be backup clauses and say, well, if this kid fails, then I give, say, a share of the estate or a sum of money in lieu of that asset. So you know that person's going to get something and the whole gift is not going to fail. Another approach is to uh, not give particular assets, but to give shares of the estate and to put mechanisms in there where assets form part of that share of the estate. And so, once again, the child is not going to if the particular assets don't exist, the child's not going to be ripped off or whoever else you're providing for just quietly. And it's not just about real estate. It could be a yacht you want someone to get or a beautiful car you want someone to get. If it doesn't exist, the gift fails. So that's a bit unfortunate. So closing remarks. Even though it's got a fancy name, Ademption, this thing, Ademption, lots of gifts are redeemed all the time. It happens constantly. I'm looking at Will's drafted by others all the time where you go is does this asset exist and it doesn't uh, so it's not uncommon for gifts to be redeemed it happens all the time uh, best advice is when you're going to do a will or recommend someone to do a will they go see a specialist